bad, eh? This week we're doing Coombe Hill in Aylesbury. And, well, it's more specifically, Coombe Hill in Aylesbury and the Russell Arms pub. That was quick, I got up to Coombe Hill pretty quickly and the monument is here. Awesome, awesome view as well. I were looking well, many counties probably, we're in Buckinghamshire at the minute. Probably see all around it, Hertfordshire, Bedfordshire. This is epic. Look at this. Literally from Lodge Hill Car Park. It's taking me like five minutes to get to this point. Oh, hello. That's epic. Beautiful. What a start to this walk. I um, don't know much about that monument. Um, it's at 1890-1902, referenced in South Africa, so I didn't get a proper look at it to be honest. Quite a lot of people mingling around, but um, I used the power of Google to look that up later on and see what that's all about. But yeah, look at this. Right, I'm going down this steep hill because the directions say to go along, back out from Coombe Hill and then down um, towards like the main road which heads to Edelsborough, I think it was. I may correct myself in a minute, or on the screen at least. So I'll go down here. Yeah, it's probably all different types of way of doing this, but the path I was on, kind of, I was walking along up there, that'll basically go back to the Lodge Hill car park. Um, which is what I don't want to do. I mean, there's probably all sorts of ways of doing this, but basically the guide that I've got says to go down to Mesenden, Mesenden Road, I think it is. There's gonna be lots of corrections on the screen, no doubt, but, um, and then towards Ellersborough, I said Edelsborough, which is a town. It's a different town basically, but it's El Ellersborough. And then I think it then from there, it kind of then links, it goes inland towards the Russell Arms, which is the pub that I'm uh, walking towards. So, <sighs> but yeah, scenery is just stunning, but I'm not loving this bloody slippery, sticky mud. It's never good. Trust me, do an walk for 10 minutes or I need a piss, so that's annoying. Ah, here we go. All right, what's this here? Can I go down there? Down there or down there? Do I do need to go down, so let's try that. Fuck. Shit, is this even a trail? Fucking okay, nice steep, that's for sure. It's actually epic. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Check this out. So good.
decent fall quite right i'm heading down so i think i've found the trail to get down to the main road there's a golf course over there so i'm hoping i can go over it but for now i reckon number number one needs to be done over there oh man that's better right yeah i found what looks to be the trail uh the golf club is there i don't know if that's ellisborough or ellsbury golf club i don't know but um i can hear the main road so i'm on track Ooh. There we go. That's the path that goes into Ellisborough by the looks of it. Well, I'm gonna assume that's the way anyway. That is cool. Actually, I know this is right because I looked on all trails and this was one of the pictures that was taken. <laughs> yeah. I've tried to walk so far, it's beautiful. And we've got the weather as well. Just one of the main reasons to come out today. I wasn't actually, I've just actually finished editing the last video that I uh, that I put up, which was the Castle Turn um, to Mam Tour Walk, which was, uh, that was awesome. That was last weekend. I wasn't gonna film anything this weekend, but it's Sunday today and it's, as you can see, beautiful weather that we've been blessed with. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna go out. I was just gonna do a walk by myself without filming, but well, do you know what? I've had a video in mind that I wanted to uh, shoot. And I thought, screw it, let's do it. Might not be my best effort, but whatever. I can normally edit a lot of, of my ramblings into a video and make something half entertaining. So there we go, but yeah. This will keep walking up this way now into Ellisborough and then we'll consult the map and see where it's next. But yeah, I don't think once we're into Ellisborough, I think, yeah, you, um, after that, I think it's basically the pub. I'm just hoofing it, I'll be honest. I don't study these guides, kind of get the rough sort of via starting point, middle point in this case being the pub. Oh, it's over there. Some white buildings over there over in the distance. I think the pub's white. Um, and then just use my initiative, reference the guide, a bit of RS maps, and kind of work out from there, really. Just saves me stopping every five minutes to look at the guide. Yeah. See the monument up there, and then I've walked along here, and then, and then down. God, I'm losing my bearings. Is that a house or a cottage? I think it is. I think someone lives there. Which that is epic. We'll get a better view of it in a minute. That's beautiful. The fields at the back. These walks. These walks on your doorstep. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Looks oh bonus church coming up. So we're getting into Edelsborough now, so yeah, it's just oh, I can see a footpath coming up. That's probably what I gotta follow. Yeah. Uh, it's gotta be up there, isn't it? 
That's awesome. And this wall keeps getting better and better. Assume if it's down here. Oh God, this place is stunning. Again, it took me half an hour to drive here from where I live. I really don't have anything to complain about. I really don't. This country, man, continues to surprise me. Beautiful. It's on his way. That's really good for. All those uh, white flowers are lilies, maybe the purple ones. God, man, I need to get that app that tells you uh, what plants are and stuff. Identifies them. Oh yes. Oh mate. <laughs> oh, this is wicked. Do you know what? I had not planned this this morning. It was on my kind of list of walks to do, but I had not planned to do it. I was literally in my living room this morning watching the footy highlights from yesterday. Looked out the window, stunning sunshine. I thought, Scott, let's get out. Man, I'm glad I did. Ah, yes, sir. Wicked. Right, come from down there. Looks like you can carry on, but our route is down there, back towards, or in towards Ellisborough. Uh, yeah. But uh, there we go, yeah, keeping with tradition. I shall go, I should do the countryside thing. Oh, no, I can't. Is that class as a roundabout? Awesome use of uh, that tree, if it is. That's cool. <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, that's tight. Oh, lovely. Uh, public footpath between uh, farmland with uh, equestrian facilities. Oh, yeah, I can smell you, mate. Beautiful. Be an option if I had a water filter. Uh, I'm not low on water. I'm not low on water. I don't have a water filter, but yeah, that scenario would be. Oh god, where my nose? I don't want a bloody stringer going off in the wind again. I did last week. It's gorgeous. Pretty much wherever you go, you can see Coombe Hill and the monument in the distance. It's gorgeous. Ooh, lovely. Right, 
don't know what road we're on now, but basically we're, gee, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. It's the purpose of this guide. It's how delicate I am. We are on, oh, it might be that Ascendant still. What is it? What road is this? Chalkshire Road. This will now go down to, this will take me down to the Russell Arms, where I will stop for a beverage and possibly some food. Oh, she blows. The Russell Arms. Look online. I can't get in there. Look at that, happy hour, 3.99. I'm assuming that means a pint. Five to seven, Tuesday to Sunday. Oh, man. There we are. There we go, that is the Russell Arms. That does look inviting. Let's go and have a look. Let's have a go. Let's have one of those. Yeah. 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 Have you um? Have you eaten in here? Yeah. Is the food good? Oh, yeah. yeah. I know it smells good. I'm like looking at the options, but I haven't booked a table or anything. Yeah. So. I can, I can recommend it. We've had a yeah. Uh, next time. Oh my god, that was amazing. I normally get a shot of the uh, the empty plate. The service is so good in here. They've taken the plate already. I seem to compete with Obstin. It's really good. epic that was really really nice um, I lucked out there I must say because um, they were fully booked so they served me a pint which I'll come back to in a minute um, but they said they were fully booked for food anyway it was stalled across the bar so I just sat at a bar and had a beer got talking to the the barmaid and also the manager was very polite, courteous, a nice man, you know, as I try to be. And uh, sort of put the hint in there. I actually asked for a menu because I wanted to show the menu for you guys for uh, review purposes. And just to 
see what was on offer basically but mainly for the, the pub review so my intentions were clear and uh yeah people come and go when and then the, the the manager was like oh like do you want to eat i was like yeah i mean whatever you can serve yeah i'm just going so you know do you want to eat at the bar i was like if you don't mind i don't mind i don't care so she's given the menu i mean there were people that literally come out sorry that that was sat in the um the beer garden at the front there we just saw a video of it they're ordering just like a coke and chips just for something they give me the full menu. Yeah, being it's a Sunday, they had the roasts on. So they had all the meats, beef, shoulder of pork. I can't remember what the other one was, chicken or turkey. Um, price led the way a little bit with my decision making. Right, is this the... Here we go. Right, so I'm just coming off the main high street. And down here, oh, this is interesting. Uh, oh okay there we go i've got more going today tidy hayes outdoors would be uh would be happy with that one um oh yeah look at this back into the countryside boys and girls oh beautiful yeah she was like give, give me the menu so i was like well all right i'm gonna order a roast so i ordered the shoulder of pork which was 16.50, I think it was. Um, I mean, I was sitting at a bar, I wasn't starving, but I, I was hungry, I could eat. The smell of the roast drifting through the pub. Oh man. I was like, yeah, okay, let's do the shoulder of pork, 16.50. All the meats were 19 quid, basically. So I was like, yeah, I don't need all the meats. I'm not a big eater as well, so. Um, that's the meat, that's the roast dinner coming out. So I was like, yeah, whatever. And I just fancied pork. Oh man, it was good. The pork was succulent and tasty. Um, the gravy was like, sort of had like rosemary in it or something like that. Potatoes could have been slightly soft, could have been better, but they were good. Just rounded off them with the trimmings, vegetables and parsnips and stuff. It was good. All right. Still with a bit of camera shy around people, just feel awkward talking into a camera when I'm around people. I need to get over that a little bit. Anyway, so the food was oh gorgeous. Um, and fair play to the manager of the Russell Arms who um who saw I was a lonely guy, a nice guy, a hungry guy, and she uh she sought me right out. She actually said, oh, you look, you look like a nice guy, so we'll sort you out. We'll, uh, we'll, let, you, we'll let you eat at the bar. Thank you very much to, I uh, didn't get your name. Thank you very much, if you ever watched this, the uh, manageress of the Russell Arms. Um, I suppose that leads me on to, well, okay, I'll talk about the pint and I'll review it. I need to work out like a way of doing this like review for the pub thing. Like maybe I need like, I don't know, ways of reviewing it, like categories that I review and stuff. I don't know. Um, that I kind of like give them a, a, a mark out of 10 for each category of the pub. I don't know. But a pint, I had a fudge, I think it was called. And um, local drop, so it was what I try and do from the uh, Chilton Brewery. It's only 3.6%, so it's good, like a, I suppose, like a session beer. Oh God, sorry. Um, that was very nice. I was trying to get out of them. I, tried, I did look up on Google where they had like sort of hints of like fudge, as in the name fudge. I couldn't get anything out of it, but I do think it was. It had like a sort of creamy, buttery taste. So whether it was sort of based on fudge, I don't know. All right, I don't know where the battery died. I don't know where I got to. But yeah, all in all, it was really good. The staff were, were, were very good. The barmaid attended, attended to me, so my pints, put my food out, first class, really friendly, lovely. Um, and the manageress who let me eat. Oh, where do I go here? Do I go there? Through the field, really? 
Alright mate. Little pony. Tractor through there, what's gonna walk by that? Seems to be land. Uh... Ah, there we go. Look at that gaff, Jesus, that's nice. Okay, that away. Boy, beautiful. Yeah, how do we, um, how do you rate the pubs? I'm gonna go buy beer. Specifically, a drink to drink. I mean, if you've got a gin, a rum, a whiskey, it is what it is. It's gonna be the same in every pub. So, I'm gonna go specifically with beer, food. Uh, what should we say? So we'll go with service. Um, how do we say? Like hospitality and general feel of the pub. Probably a better way of, of, uh, of categorizing that, really and that's four and what else and the and the pub the rain of the pub in general like the layout of it the look of it the layout of it um to my opinion basically the the, the, the condition of it the state of the pub so oh, look at this jesus this is wicked that pink house over there what's that about it's trying to be different isn't it Right, the beer was good. So out of 10, I'd say it was the best beer I've had, but it was a decent beer. 3.6%, uh, Fudge All, Chilton Brewery. Um, went down well, Compied the mill really nicely. Wasn't too strong, which is also important. So I don't have to stagger back to the, well, I can't have too many because I'm driving as well. I had two, it's 3.6%. I think that's okay. Um, yeah, obviously I need to have to complete the walk. <laughs> and uh, where are we going now? Down here? Oh, it can't be that way. It's got to be this way. Uh, sticking with countryside way of doing it. We'll, we'll, we'll do. We'll go the proper way. Ah, shit, down there. There's no sign, so I'm gonna say it's down here. Um, yeah, decent pint. Went down really easy. Nice tasting, not too strong. £4.50, so we'll add value into it as well. Wasn't too bad for, uh, uh, I believe, yeah, well, for a local drop, Chilton Brewery. Uh, very nice. Um, out of 10, let's go. I'm tempted to give it an eight, but I feel that that's, that's too much. Maybe had better beers, maybe ones I've enjoyed. It, I, I, it was a solid seven and a half out of ten. We'll go, we'll go seven and a half out of ten for uh, the fudge all beer. That was nice. The food, <laughs> goddamn, it was good, lovely. Out of ten, that's it's an eight and a half. The food was banging. It, it was. I really enjoyed that. That was very nice. Very good. Service spot on. As I said, the uh, the young girl and the manageress were uh, just really kind, really nice. Had a little chat with them. Let me eat at the bar. Spot on. Nine out of ten. I mean, it could be ten, but maybe it is a ten. I don't know. It's a nine and a half. Let's not set the bar too high. Could it be better? What would make it better? I don't know. I'm gonna go nine and a half. It was, I don't know what would make it better. Maybe I'll change this within time, but nine and a half for the service. It was spot on. It was, it was really good. Do I go 10? Fuck it. Excuse my language. 10 out of 10. The service, what, what we're, pissing, we're not messing around it. It was spot on. Service of 10 out of 10. I'm going for it. It was excellent. Really good. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, the hospitality in general feel was that was that it 
think it was. I'm literally making this up on the spot, by the way. Uh, really nice. Enjoyed it. Um, very good. Nine out of ten. Really nice. Rustic, warm, friendly, kind. Everything basically I've won in a pub. And uh, just it's just how I'm feeling. Nine is still a damn good score, so uh, I can't give a reason why. I'm just gonna go with my guy instinct. Nine out of ten, really good. Um, and then <laughs> the aesthetic, the look, the the uh, the layout of the pub, I guess, I guess if you will. I'm gonna work these this terminology out. Uh, yeah, again, very nice. Uh, pretty much everything I've wanted in a in a one in a pub. Yeah, old, yeah, dates back to 17, uh, you know, 1763, did I say? So the 1700s, had the feel of it, the look of it, the charm of it, beautiful, uh, it was warm, looked inviting from outside, yeah, great, nine out of 10 again. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, I'll put the score up, I'm gonna, I suppose, average the score, and I'll put it up on the screen now. So this, this, that's the score from what I just told you. Um, yeah, um, whatever it is, absolutely worthy of the score. It was absolutely excellent. I mean, yeah, I'll um, absolutely highly recommend the Russell Arms in Aylesbury as a part of the uh, the walk. Um, or even if you don't walk, just just pop by and have a meal there. If you've not done it, you're local to the area. Do it. Absolutely brilliant. Right, I gotta work out where I am. Balls, I went wrong. <laughs> Chatting away to you lot. And uh, I realized I was well out of my way. So now I'm basically walking across this farmer's field to get back on the trail, which I'm hoping is sort of over there somewhere. But, uh, never mind. Is that, is that where you go? Fuck, am I in someone's field now? I've no idea. God damn. How's that cup in there for? Countryside here. Yeah, I've lost my way a little bit. It's supposed to be uh, the footpath that goes into Wendover. Then from Wendover, you kind of like then backtrack and then come back up towards Coombe Hill. I lost the trail somewhere. I was heading God knows where. And I was chatting to you, so come back on myself. Come across that, um, went back to the footpath that bordered or went through that farm. And now I was walking down this this uh, countryside, this country lane here. But I can see, the, the good thing is you can basically see Coombe Hill like from wherever you are around here. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk back down the road. Um, this will take me back to like the main road, Ellisborough Road, I think it is. And then from there, I'll just get back onto the trail and then go back up to Coombe Hill and then back to Lodge Hill Car Park. Of the countryside, no, I've had it all today. It's just beautiful. Just, just the woods, the fresh, the fresher air, the fauna, and it's it's getting. We're getting to spring. It's February the twenty-sixth or something today. I don't know what the date is. It's just lovely, man. Earthy, shrubbery, faunery. 
countryside -y. Just lovely. Right, is this? I think this might be Ellisborough Road. Pretty sure I'll come this way. I mean, I've eaten already, but there's a smell of roast dinner in the air. I could eat that again while I'm just eating. Or, what anybody else wants to offer me, that is. That's nice. That's pretty cool. So, we roughly got kind of Wendover sort of around that area. And then pan across. And you can see in the distance the kind of farm that I was on. Not so long ago. Wicked. Love it, man. Whew. Wendover, twinned with Liffrey Brittany, nice. Loving the flowers as well. Okay, that way to Wendover. This way, back to Coombe Hill, down the bridal way. Yeah, boy. So let's see what this says. Goddamn, this is uphill. That roast dinner. And that pint, woo! It's not helping this. It's hilarious. Oh man, it's a good view through there. Might get that in a minute. Oh, look at this. Come on. Oh, yes. It's a nice shot. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Lovely. There's roots, man. So walk through the leaves, or along the roots. But, oh, excuse me. It's beautiful though, man. It's so peaceful. It's gorgeous. What a walk this has been. Better. My second pier to walk. Uh, I needed that. It's funny because it's not like the roast dinner that I just had. We're getting the view again that we had from uh, Coombe Hill earlier on. Look at this. Awesome. What a walk this is. Ah, oh, man. I know I say often, but... And Vic, if you, if you decide to watch this video, you gotta do this. My wife, that is. We gotta do this, we gotta do this walk together, man. Oh, man. Well, we're near in the end. Car box just up ahead. What a fantastic walk that was. If I rated the pub and gave that a rating, I've got to do the same with the walk. It's got everything really. Good accessibility, beautiful views from the top of Coombe Hill, the monument, beautiful woodland, walk in over rolling fields, through beautiful, quaint, charming little villages and towns 
and wow what a pub to stop at halfway as well at the, at the Russell Arms absolutely brilliant I don't know if there's I, I, I can't think of a rating right now but if I think of one maybe I'll add this in at the end of the video well I'll put a score now of what I think it is but I don't know you tell me as well in the comments what do you how would you rate this walk out of 10 it's going to be quite high for me and uh, just to think that it's basically, it's this winter now as well, it's the end of Feb, it's end of February right now, but it feels like late autumn, summer into autumn, with the weather we've had, just the, the brown leaves on the floor, the look of the place, absolutely stunning, awesome man, thanks for joining me this walk, thanks again, thanks for watching. See you next time.